Welcome to another episode of Stories of Toy Companies. In this episode, we will talk about the company Funko and how they got their start, what products they are popular for, and what makes them such a successful company in the toy industry today. In 1998, Mike Becker founded the company in Snohomish, Washington. The first line of toys that the company created were a set of bobbleheads called Wacky Wobblers. The first one of these was the Big Boy Bobblehead, along with other popular nostalgic characters such as the Grinch, Tony the Tiger, and the Cheerios mascot Bee. In 2005, Becker sold the company to Brian Mariani, who is the company's current CEO and is responsible for expanding the licensing and products the company produces. In 2017, Funko opened its new headquarters and flagship store in Edward, Washington. Funko is known for a wide variety of products, such as Funko Vision figures featuring characters from Looney Tunes, Hanna-Barbera, and Peanuts that are discontinued but still highly collectible online and at trade shows to this day. The Funko Game of Thrones Legacy collection figure lines was discontinued due to lack of interest, articulation, and the use of brittle plastic. Another line of toys that they were known for is the Mini Hakari line of minifigures that came in different colors and characters such as Mickey Mouse, Darth Vader, Stitch, and Batman. The most popular and successful toy product Funko has created is the Funko Pop vinyl figures distinguished by their black dot eyes, large head, and small bodies that resemble a bobblehead. What makes the Funko Pop vinyl figure so popular and successful are the wide variety of licenses and characters that the company uses to make a demand for any popular group of collectors. They have such a wide variety of licenses for Funko Pops, it ranges from TV shows, celebrities, movies, comics, music, food products, and video games. The first Funko Pop figures made were Batgirl, Green Lantern, and Batman. Some of the wide variety of characters they've done are Batman, Iron Man, Bob Ross, Sour Patch Kids, The Kool-Aid Guy, Jason Voorhees, Goku, The Mandalorian, Stan Lee, Woody, Homelander, Pikachu, Harry Potter, Kiss, Michael Jordan, Hopper, and countless other characters, celebrities, athletes, and mascots. Funko has created a universal collectability and popular craze for fans to collect countless characters and celebrities from a vast multitude of licenses and brands. The success is due to the simple design to easily display them from a home or an office. The collector craze for Pop Funko vinyl figures really hit its stride when they created Chase variants and store exclusives. The most rare and valued figures are the 2012 SDCC holographic Darth Maul figure worth over $2,000 the 2012 SDCC Ned Stark figure with a detachable head worth over $1,000 as well as the Big Boy figure. With the Funko Pop figures being sold at Hot Topic, Target, and Walmart with multiple variants at various other locations, the collectability demand stays strong and popular to this day. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Stories of Toy Companies. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Talking Toys podcast channel on our YouTube channel and Facebook page. I'm Kyle Walters and happy toy hunting.